Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to discuss symmetric and asymmetric FIR filters. Now, the conditions are dependent on their unit sample response H of n. The H of n, that is the unit sample response of FIR filter is symmetric if it satisfies the condition that is H of n is equal to H of capital N minus 1 minus n, that is n ranges from 0 to capital M minus 1. Here, m is the number of the samples. Now, this is the condition when h of n is symmetric, then the filter would be symmetric. Now, consider the unit sample response of a fire filter is anti-symmetric. Then it should satisfy the condition h of n is equal to minus h of capital M minus 1 minus n where n ranges from 0 to capital M minus 1. Now, if this condition is satisfied, then the filter is anti-symmetric. Now, the phase of the filter, that is angle H of omega, is given by minus omega capital M minus 1 by 2 and minus omega capital M minus 1 by 2 plus pi. This is for when H of omega is greater than 0 and this is for h of omega when it is less than 0. Now, we can derive that the condition for linear phase is h of n should be equal to plus minus h of capital M minus 1 minus n. Now, the FIR filter can be characterized by the equation that is h of z is equal to summation k is equal to 0 capital M minus 1 h of k z raised to minus k. Here m is the length of the filter and m minus 1, this is this term, is the order of the filter. The frequency response for different conditions can be discussed as further. That would be, the first condition is, if m is odd and symmetric, then h of e raised to j omega is equivalent to e raised to minus j omega m minus 1, the whole divided by 2 into h of m minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 summation n is equal to 0 to capital M minus 3 divided by 2 h of n cos of omega capital M minus 1 divided by 2 minus n. Now the second condition is if m is odd and anti-symmetric then h of e raised to j omega is equal to h of m minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into summation n is equal to 0 m minus 3 by 2 h of n here the difference is it comes as sine m minus 1 divided by 2 minus n into omega now the third condition is if m is even and symmetric then h of e raised to j omega is given as 2 into summation n is equal to 0 capital M by 2 minus 1 h of n cos of M minus 1 divided by 2 minus n into omega. And the last condition that would be if M is even and anti-symmetric then h of e raised to j omega is equal to 2 into summation n is equal to 0 capital M by 2 minus 1 h of n sine of m minus 1 divided by 2 minus n into omega. Now these are the different conditions for symmetric and anti-symmetric FIR filters. Thank you.